day four of that popular trial. Re, uh, it's a retrial, that is, uh, with the man who's being charged with first-degree murder of Nemo Yang, Peng Lor, and Trevor Maloney, both prosecutors and the defense, questioning the investigators on that case. News 19's Roger Staffaroni, you've been following the case, and Roger, what was the focus of today's testimony? Well, Heather, much of that focus was case evidence. Lead investigators Richard Admanson and Fritz Leinfelder spoke about and in some cases presented physical evidence to the jury. Now that evidence included numerous cell phones containing messages and texts that connected Tao to the victims leading up to the murders. At one point, Leinfelder opened up evidence bags containing the shoes that were worn by each man the night of the shootings and then walking them toward the jury, showing them up close. Now, defense attorney Aaron Nelson on his cross-examination focused instead on the murder weapon, the gun. The ownership of the gun as well as the use of the gun, correct? I mean, you asked Cam whose gun was it, correct? I is that on the transcript also? I believe I, I believe I asked him that, yes. And he told you it's mine. I brought it to the cross. Yes. Correct? So you determined as part of your investigation that it's Cam's gun. I received information that it was Cam's gun. And once you received information that it was Cam's gun, did you do further investigation into the ownership of the gun? I'm not following where you're going with that. Defense attorney Nelson also asked questions regarding key witness Bridget Schlicht and what she initially told authorities, questioning her truthfulness at that time. And Heather, with that, both the state and Tao's defense rested their case. Wow, interesting uh, case going on right now. Thank you, Roger. Those closing arguments will begin on Monday morning, and we will continue to live stream it on our website, WXOW.com.